Hey guys, welcome back to the J Plus K channel. Today I'll be getting into 2021 Panini Select NFL Football. I'll be comparing two formats today, Blaster Box and Hanger Pack. We'll see which one will reign supreme. Let me know in the comments which one you think won this battle. I personally think the Hanger Pack will come out on top and hopefully be a banger. I've seen a lot of rips online showing the Hanger Pack uh, being the best value. It's actually a lot cheaper than the Blaster Box, but we'll see. I thought another fun thing we could do during this rip is to see if Select Football can predict the winner of tonight's Thursday Night Football game, Washington at the Bears. Whichever team has the most representation in this rip will win the game. Pretty scientific stuff. I guess no different than having Maggie the Monkey predict hockey playoff games on TSN. But we'll see. Okay, let's get into this. So I picked these products up on Walmart's website during a restock that actually lasted all of about 15 minutes before they were out of stock again. And funny story actually, the website didn't even have a picture of this product. It only had the Panini logo. And the description was wrong. The description read 2022 um, NFL Select Football, which obviously didn't exist yet. So I took a chance hoping I wouldn't get something that I didn't want, like draft football or something else. But a couple days later, this showed up at my door and I was definitely happy with it. So enough talking, let's get going. I think I'll start with the hanger pack first. I guess in the past they were boxes. Kind of like the optic boxes this year. But they decided to go with packs. And we are looking for the black and gold prison die cuts, which four per pack on average. So I guess we're not guaranteed four. Oh, this is going to be really small, but I'm not even sure if it'll show up these odds. The zebras. Not sure if there are any other animal prints. Snake skins, giraffes. I think so. Are gonna be the chase cards. Okay, here we go. There are the die cuts. Move this back. Jammed in the middle. Hopefully being in packs they don't get damaged. Rather than in being in the box. So Sam Darnold, our first card. Let's just see the base. I mean, I'm more of a prism optic guy, but select is a close third for me. Still shiny. There's the back. Shows the levels, which is concourse. It's the lowest level. So Sam Darnold's our first. Next, Davis Mills, rookie. Next up, Justin Jefferson. And we have Jacob Harris, rookie. For the Rams. Next up, AD, AP, Adrian Peterson. Nice to see the retired vets in, in the current sets. Next up, Granson for the Colts. And Kadarius Tony. Our best rookie pull so far. Base. Chuba Hubbard. Actually, Canadian. It's from my hometown. It's nice to see him doing okay. I mean, when McCaffrey was injured, obviously he had more and more touches. Our first die cut the Derek Gore. Rookie. 
and this is a prism, silver prism. Nice cards. I'm not a huge fan of die cuts, but select doesn't well. Next we have a turbocharged Kyle Pitts. Turbocharged. Next up, Richard Dent. Wow. That's a flash from the past. And I guess he counts towards the Bears winning tonight, right? I guess we'll tally that up later. Next die cut is uh, yellow. Is this a golden black? Miles Sanders. It's hard to tell with the green there, but yeah, I think it's golden black. Next die cut. Nice one, Micah Parsons. This is probably your best card so far. Having another great start to the year, to his year, sophomore season. And Jalen Waddle. Nice. So far, I'm happy with the rookie pulls. One. Next die cut. Kenny Galladay. I'll put that there. Speaking of McCaffrey, here we go. Another Davis Mills. Did we get the exact card earlier? Like our first card? different. So this guy was the concourse, right? This one's premier level, so it's a little little more rare. Hmm. Next up, Kirk Cousins. Mr. Mom himself. Another Jacob Harris. Premier level. Kirk Cousins read my level. Yep. And our last card of the hanger. Marcus Allen. So I wouldn't I don't know. I wouldn't call it a banger. But definitely had some good rookies in there. Maybe the best card was the Waddle. Michael Parsons tie cut. Let's see. I don't think we had any commanders. We had one bear. Nothing there. Waddle. I'll put up here. Will fit? Kind of won't fit. Parsons. Yeah, so far one nothing for the Bears. Waddle in a sleeve. Put that up here. See if it can stay. The Michael Parsons in a sleeve as well. Okay, time for the blaster. I know I picked the hanger pack to begin, but now I'm really hoping the blaster comes through here. Let's see what we get. So again, we're looking for the red and blue prism die cuts. Find three in the box on average.
Also look for autographs. One silver prism token. Good luck. Six packs, 24 cards. Move these guys up. Jalen, who doesn't want to stay on the stand, over. And we'll start. Tyson Williams, rookie for Baltimore. We have a turbocharged Patty Mahomes. And our silver prism is unfortunately Juju Smith Schuster, not a rookie. Put that over there anyway. Next up. Jimmy G on the back, David Johnson, Javante Williams is unfortunately out for the year. I was actually looking forward to seeing him build on his rookie season, too bad. Stefan Diggs, Hidden Talents, insert, and Jimmy G. I'm actually impressed with the quality of Select. Really nice card stock. I haven't noticed any really visible damage on surface areas, surface damage or the corners. Next up, what do we have here? Fitzpatrick. The Titans. Another Juju. Here we go. Trey Lance. Red and blue die cut rookie. Unfortunately, he's out for the year as well, but I'm trying to get this in without damaging it. Still a nice card. Put him next to Micah. And what was the last card here? Dak. Next up. Rashawn Slater. The Chargers. Zach Wilson, another one of the big QB names, who was injured as well, but now he's back. Playing all right. Nick Chubb, insert, numbers. And Peyton Turner, rookie. Nothing crazy so far, but look at the, the, I guess you'd say rookies and hits pile versus the vets, commons pile. It's actually dominating the blaster box, so that's good. That's a good sign. Next, Patrick Mahomes, which goes into the vet pile, but good vet to have. Course level. Eskridge rookie. There's some damage on the bottom edge there. A Brett Favre. Red and blue. I guess that's if you're gonna get a vet red and blue, it's a good one to get. 
and Kyle Pitts rookie. Having a slow start to the year, but still a monster player. Last pack, last pack magic. Come on. And we start off with a Gore rookie. And we got some color in the back. Let's see who's behind two colors. Matt Ryan. Gore. Let's see what the red and white. Red, sorry, red, white, and blue. Red and blue. Kyler. Cover boy. Not bad. Look for something good here. Last pack. Last card. Rookie. Oof. Right team. Wrong player. Nice player, though. And that is numbered out of 349. Would have been nice to get a Trevor Lawrence there. Okay, let's look at that pile. This was the vet pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six cards. Six cards out of the blaster were in the kind of the vet common pile. And the rest of it were the rookies and the hits. I'll put this in a sleeve first. We also have that Trey Lance too. It was from the blaster. quickly go through here. I'm looking for Washington or the Bears while I do this. Nothing. So out of all these cards, let's go through this again. We only had one bear. Mr. Richard Dent. Which means the Bears are going to win Thursday Night Football. We'll see. So I think the blaster box won this battle, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching, see you next time.